Yellowstone supervolcano is a devastating super eruption around the corner. The massive super eruptions of Yellowstone have allegedly shaken the world three times recently, 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago. They were super eruptions at these dates. Scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey are monitoring the activity of the supervolcano for signs that it might erupt, causing devastation on a worldwide scale. And the scientists in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, Mike Poland, revealed just in November what happened. The University of Utah Seismograph Station recorded 107 earthquakes in the region, the largest one having been 3.1 magnitude, and it occurred just outside the park. He says, there was always a very small swarm of earthquakes that began right at the end of November. There was also quakes there continuing into early December right here on the west. The largest event of this sequence was magnitude 2.1. And according to Poland, a further deformation of the caldera has been recorded. He says, so over the last two years, there was an overall downward trend that suggests subsidence of the resurgent dome but there's been some variability here in the last few months caused by storms. He concluded by saying that moving to the Mallard Lake Dome and the old faithful site, we see the same downward trend over time. Over two years of this plot, some variations in the last few months again. Subsidence with a little bit of variability. The Norris Geyser Basin, as we know, that's what houses the Steamboat Geyser which has been active since March of 2018. It rose from 2015 until October 2018. It rose in that, that it inflated, but has remained steady for almost a year. And also had small subsidence event with a two centimeter uplift in autumn of 2019. And concerning the debates around the next super eruption from Yellowstone, his update about the movement of the caldera and changes in the region it comes amid speculations about yet another super eruption possibility inflicting devastation spanning several United States and uh, volcano thought to have erupted 2.1 million years ago 1.3 million years ago 640,000 years ago inflicting devastation worldwide USGS scientist Jake Lowenstern commented on this matter years ago, and he argued that doing statistics on two eruptive intervals is playing games. He said, because we don't know. There's no clock down there. The magma is going to erupt when it wants to erupt. There's been a lot of things that have happened over the last 600,000 years that might indicate there's less likely of an eruption, he said. This is on Sputnik News. Now, if you look at one of my a recent post concerning the magma underneath Yellowstone pushing towards the high threat volcanoes of Northern California and Oregon. You'll see what how the geologist explains recently recent findings concerning the magma rock, the mantle rock pushing sideways towards the west coast. And that originates from Yellowstone. There have recently been other studies saying that the magma under Yellowstone is coming from a body that is from Baja, California. It's like a Y. The left-hand side of that branch goes towards the west coast high threat volcanoes and the right-hand arc goes to the branch goes under Yellowstone. And uh, this comes out as we you'll notice we just had a about three hours ago a strong magnitude 6 earthquake uh, north of Vancouver Island, Canada. It's not far from Seattle, it's on the west coast, the subduction zone, of course. And uh, we are still having aftershocks from that one as well. Uh, that They were three strong earthquakes in the same exact location. And we do have, of course, a tremendous amount of activity lately on the west coast. So please be careful. And again, I wish all of you a wonderful Christmas season. And God bless all of you. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.